Hello there, it is I, Ariman the Exile. Back again with another content. Today we are playing with World Eaters against Necrons AI Advanced Tactics. Necrons insane AI, who can handle that with normal options to annihilate, to capture and hold and control the area. It is not easy task. Map named Blood Hell, Bloody Hell. Uh, playing with world leaders, so that could give us a chance in a fight. Playing a unification mod version 5.9. Still, let's start this mission. Alright, first of all, I will take a picture of this map because I'm not sure if I have this map. It was a long time uh, when I, like, um, I was recording. So, let me let me just give a quick quick uh, photo of this map yes there we go and let me give you back the taskbar no I don't want to abort the game <laughs> maybe I could but oh, what the fuck. oh there we go uh, okay now let us begin this if you wanna like here ne uh, necrons, that's fine. But if you wanna like here world eaters, what are they talking like? I do not recommend. They are very loud. I almost forgot. I almost forgot to turn up the music from Chaos Legions. Mm. Let's give it a go. This is very loud. This is very loud. Okay. This should be fine, and let's start up this mission. Okay, I took a while. Necro is going to build the first generator. Let's see on the other side, going for Demon Gate and two plasma generators. Demon, Demon Host is building this stuff. Chaos World Leaders Cultists. In range, you got the melee ones. The melee ones got lesser uh, upgrades for the weaponry, and of course, range cultists will have uh, more upgrades. They, so they got heavy strawberry, flamers, grenade launchers, and shotguns. But they do not have a plasma gun like uh, classic chaos cultists have. All right, now Necron's going for four generators, and it's the way they should do. Okay, and going up for for uh, Necron warriors. In case you guys don't know, they are completely free. They do not cost any power, but when you reinforce them, they will cost, of course. And looking here. Incoming 26 of the requisition for uh, for the world eaters and 10% of power going up Looks like the builder has changed to coordinate the tech we are ready to fight. Yes, we are ready, ready to fight, fight. From our tribe shall That is what they say when they capture the, the flag, of course And yes, what is it? <laughs> oh, lucky this fella. This is uh, the one guy you, you really need to like. like <laughs> when when he's summoned, like he said something like, "Oh, I hate this world." <laughs> like he he's a legend. All right, let's see the Necron perspective, AI perspective, insane AI. Okay, they got now four plasma generators. They're going for a summoning core, and of course they got the gas turret. Gauss's turret. It's a very, very uh, good thing to have in early game. Oh, we can see some blood letters. It's getting interesting from world eaters. And some dead blood ravens. Blood ravens! To me! Alright. Looks like there is some dead marines on the field in this map called Bloody Hell. Blood River is completely different story. This map looks pretty nice actually. And here comes the second squad of blood letters, it seems. 
On the other side, Necron's got almost fully reinforced uh, one Necron warrior unit. They will be fully upgraded. But the only... I don't know why are they going for second summon core. It's such a waste of power. What the fuck, AI? But, doesn't matter, AI always receives extra benefits. Because that's the way they do it. Okay, let me see five Necron warriors. Five brave. We cannot save brave for machines. They are just machines. They are getting uh, slaughtered by the demons. And now they are going for the third summoning core. Oh my fucking god, that's so wrong. So many ways. Eight of them. Seven, six of them, okay. They lost two units. The Necrons do lost uh, two squads. Yeah, and they are going for the another Necron warrior. Now they are going for the dissipation field, which receives benefits, uh, health and damage for the Necron warriors uh, of the living metal. I don't know why they they managed to go for the third summoning core. It's such a waste of their power, such a waste of the economy. But still, who am I to judge? It's just an AI. All right, we can see on the relic going up for a new two plasma generators from the world eaters, and we don't even have a single turret, but we have managed to capture one critical location. The world eaters do not waste time, and there is the surgeon who right now summoned the squad of berserker marines, who are pretty angry <coughs> because they don't have to, to cut the blood; they have to cut the living metal. But they do not, not mind as long as they destroy, and as long as they are not bored with capturing the flags. <laughs> But the commander told them, like, you have to capture and conquer, and that is the one thing they need to do. And they hate it, probably. They do not like it, but they will do it anyway. Now we even have a complete domination on the map from the Blue Dippers. Another six Necron Warriors on the field, and a squad of played ones. Just have been deep strike on the field. What are they going to do? Probably not much. Not much against blood letters and cool command squad. Even another coordinate berserker squad. They kill they managed to kill a builder. Now blood Blood, uh, Blood Legion is getting closer to the HQ of the Necrons. They are going tier two, and of course, uh, World Eaters are going tier two right now. They got, they are conquering the third critical location. Now we see Necrons don't stand a chance against the World Eaters on this map. Not against World Eaters, baby. I had to kind of like completely dominate them in this battle because this insane AI. Try, try for yourself, man. Try for yourself. Fight, fight the Necrons. Fight the Necrons. Like it's, it's not easy against them. Pick any faction. Any, any faction you want to like. Pick it. Play against insane AI. You will see they can be trouble in the ass. But, who am I to judge? Maybe you know how to deal with it. <laughs> ne Necrons, uh, insane AI with advanced tactics can be really pain in the ass. Six minutes. Uh, now going up for, for another upgrade for the Necrons. 
and they can summon another Necron Warrior five squad. Minutes until taken it is victory. what it is. Five minutes to control area victory. Oh, another squad of Coronate Berserkers. <coughs> now even Blood Letters got the uh, Blood Raper, which is a leader unit of the Blood Letters. Now they are going to destroy. <coughs> we even got the Blood Cultists squad in range. We do not have any upgrade, but they are going for the full veteran. They are just destroying the buildings. <laughs> what? What is this? Okay, I, it Five seems I was using a, a lot of core ability. And there it is a turret, tarantula turret from the world eaters. Four minutes until taken all the You can see this is completely disaster for the Necrons. Necrons didn't stand a chance, chance in this battle. If you just managed to... Maybe they will uh, destroy this Alatar form. But who knows? The base is under attack. And they are just recapping the critical location from the world eaters. But that is the only thing what will they do, I believe. Now the turret, the turret is shooting. They are retreating, they almost finished this altar of four. It only has 100 HP and 9. Very low HP. Control area <coughs> World leaders have managed to destroy a couple of generators and a couple of buildings from the Necrons. Necron pop cap is completely full. Six of eight. That means they got two squads of Necrons, but still they do not have army like the world leaders do. Cornate Technomancer going to build something and we can see obviously World Eaters are tier two right now. And they are going for the Blood Mechanicum, which is the building for tier 2. When they finish that, they can easily go for the tier 3. But Necrons are still big trouble. From this they cannot come back. They are going for the Immortals, that means they can manage to go for the tier 2, but they did nothing. They didn't build any vehicle, they didn't build... They almost finished the Immortal spot. But will they? I think they will receive one. There it is, tier 2 unit is up now. That is how long they last. Only a couple of seconds and they are gone. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All the corn is completely repaired. They have the cap. One critical, two are still alive. Transport mid carrier. That's the first vehicle in the game. HQ is gone, only summoning core left, and that's about it. Complete domination from the world leaders against the Necrons. Annihilation, Annihilation indeed. Alright brothers, this was the epic gaming time, epic gamer moment. I will try to do against uh, Necrons against any other faction to see, and I heard they will be uh, like uh, nerfed in the in the next version because world eater seems right now very dangerous to play against especially when you know how to play them and the players who know how to play them in multiplayer can be very dangerous with them the others other than that like uh, even ai world eaters can be trouble but you can completely wipe out any faction you want uh, with world eaters when you know how. That is why they will nerf a little bit blood letters. I believe that that's what I heard. And we can see the statistics: 74 units killed from the from the world eaters, and the necrons killed 52. 
probably cultists, something like that. <laughs> I had a couple of blood letters, maybe. Okay. 17 buildings uh, demolished, zero building lost, army size were bigger than Necron. Okay, resources. Of course, they will have bigger and better resources than Necrons because Necrons only use energy or power, call it whatever you like it, or green requisition. <laughs> green I just call it green simply like could you like spare me a little bit of green money or blue money yeah all right of course Necrons had a li little bit better than uh, requisition I mean power than us because we were the world eaters we do not care we only care about blood but they do not have blood so that was pretty pretty angry what we had to fight okay everything for your blood god and that's about it blood for the blood god thanks for watching and stay tuned